So today I'm going to be showing you how to change these old storm panels that use these Nutric connectors, which are wired for parallel, to change them over to a normal MC4 connector. And this will allow you to use your panels with other systems out there. So stay tuned for this. We're going to do a little bit of soldering and cutting, and I'm going to show you how to do it all. So I've been surprised at how many people have been emailing me asking me how they can convert their panels that have these Nutric adapters on them in order to use them with other solar generators out there. So today I'm actually going to be doing that. I got these solar panels and they have these Nutric adapters which means that they're actually wired for parallel. So let me show you all the things I'm going to be using today. First of all we've got the soldering iron as well as gloves, we've got solder. We would ideally have some flux. I accidentally forgot my flux. So I won't have any of that today, which isn't ideal, but it's still okay. I've got my safety glasses here. I've got about two feet of 12 gauge wire. I've got my MC4 connectors. I have my MC4 crimper. I have a heavy duty cable cutter. I have needle nose pliers, little flathead screwdriver. And with that, it's pretty much everything we need to get this panel working with an MC4 connector. So the way that it actually works with each connector, they actually have a positive and a negative wired onto each of the posts here. So this is actually the positive and this is actually the negative. But what they do is they bring in a positive and negative here and then a positive and negative here, which then makes it so that way when these connect together, it's still a positive negative connection all the way through. And that way it's a parallel connection. Well, I want to change these panels to work with my Titan and I want them to be connected in series. So I have to take out these old pieces and I just unsoldered these using my soldering iron. Now these are some pretty old panels. Actually, I think these are polycrystalline, not even monocrystalline. So I need to keep this piece here. That way when I put my own wire through, it can connect. Now because this is the negative and this is the positive, I've got my new MC4 cables here that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to show you. So first, I got my safety goggles. I got my soldering iron here. I'm going to check the solder. Now I actually ran out of flux, so I'm just using solder. So this isn't the best case scenario. So all you soldering guys, calm down. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of solder right onto here. That way it'll connect nice and easy. Now I am no, by no means a professional solderer. I am a total amateur. I've just done it on my own a little bit and that's just what I'm working with. Now I kind of use these grooves here to hold my cable so I can just add a little bit of solder to it and this just helps it so that it binds a lot easier once I get it in there. Do the same for this male positive side. Like I said I am not a professional by any means so do not judge me. So I've got my solder in there. I just need to make sure that I got my female negative side here. I want to put this cap on here. I'm going to feed it in through the female or the negative side. Feed it through the negative side. I just got to get it through here. Now, my other panels that I've done already, this came off just fine. Oh, there it goes. That'll make it a lot easier. there okay so we'll come through and I'm just lining it up so that way my cable will fit right here so you can see I've got my cable and just what I've been doing is using some needle nose pliers and I'll hold this because it does get hot and I just get it so it's right on that post so that contact hold the soldering iron until I see the solder melt a little bit and just like that, it is fused. It is on there. Very good. This is electrical solder. And there are different kinds of solder. So for, for those of you who are like me, who don't really know anything about soldering, uh, there are different kinds of solder. And I got electrical that has no lead core. I don't know if that's good or bad. It's worked so far for me. I've been using it for a while. Doesn't seem to have any issues. And when this tightens up, it actually squeezes an O-ring, so that way it keeps all the water out. So I got that one all good to go. I'm gonna bring the next one in. Make sure I put this cap here on it. Bring it in. So for those of you who have been asking me about how to do this with your panels that have the Nutric connectors, 
this is what I have found works. Ideally, I would have flux to do this, which just helps everything connect better. Okay, so just like that, I have now added these MC4 connectors. Now, you really do not need red and black cables or anything uh, to identify you know, the positive and negative. As long as you know what's positive and has the male end, it's pretty easy to get it right. Now, I like to use these gloves. Uh, they are, I feel that like they're a little heat resistant. These are actually cut proof gloves. You can take a razor blade and cut these. These are some of my favorite gloves. I have lots of pairs of these. These are my go-to work gloves. They're very comfortable and they give me good dexterity. So I can use my fingertips really well. And just like that, we will close this back up. So I got the one panel that already has MC4 connectors, but I wanted to show you how easy it is to add these connectors to a cable and you can really make any length you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the male or the positive cable. I got about two feet here. I'm gonna take my clippers. You can use normal wire snippers if you want. You have to be real careful when stripping all the wiring. I'm gonna go ahead and strip the black one here while I've got it. And I'm just taking off about a half an inch or so. Now I am working on the back of the solar panel here, so I do want to be careful I don't drop any tools or anything because the cells are on the other side of this white covering right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the male. All I have to do is take the bigger silver pieces. These are the smaller silver pieces that go with the negative or the female. I'll take one of these. And what you do, what I like to do is because this is a 12 gauge wire, I use about the middle crimp. I like to set the silver piece in here like this and then slide the cable in till it butts up with the shielding or the insulation. Crimp it until it clicks all the way through. And now I have a perfect crimp. And that copper wire is making perfect contact inside here. You just take this and shove it on until you hear that click, that pop. Now it's not coming apart. And you just ratchet it down until you can't get it any tighter. And voila, I now have an MC4 male connector. And I'm gonna do the same for the female side. Now I'm gonna strip these ends and add some solder to them, pop this open and get it ready to put in there. Okay, so this soldering iron, hot. Now I'm gonna use my little flat head. All I gotta do is push it in and pry it out. Okay, so that one finally popped off. Okay, so what we can see here is there's two reds that are connected to the positive side and two blacks connected to the negative side. So this is how they keep it in parallel, even though the panels were stringing together in a series style. So to get these off, all I do is take my soldering iron and I just push right at the base of the cable and it just pops pretty much right off. You can also use the needle nose, do a little bit of back pressure a little bit of up pressure just give it a second start melting and there it goes okay the next thing you got to do is snip these ends here and for all the tools and things i'll have links below just click the show more button below the video and you can have links to all the things that i'm using here it's all very simple and very inexpensive equipment So just like that, these neutral connectors are now gone. I'm gonna go ahead and add some solder. I'm gonna go ahead and add my new MC4 cables. And ideally, you wanna come around the side rather than over the top here, because this is your diode, and you wanna make sure that the black cap, you can see this little gasket it has in here, this red gasket. You wanna be able to make sure that this can lie flat against here. So if possible, you want the cable to come around the side and then be able to sit down right on top of the metal and make perfect contact there. What I like about this little solder tube is when I need more, just pull more of it out. Straighten it, makes it really easy to work with. Okay, so that solder is now on. Now I can go ahead and cinch these closed. Okay, I just wanna make sure that the gasket, this little red piece is sitting properly in there. And I know that this little piece sticking out here was on the bottom. Just line it back up, press it back on. And now I've got my MC4 leads. This is ready to use with my Titan.
So just like that, I now have MC4 connectors on these panels. So it doesn't matter what type of connector is on here, as long as you go back to the box and you know which posts are positive and negative, you can easily attach MC4 connectors to make these work with any other solar generator. Each of these are about 140 watts. I'm going to be connecting them in series to my Titan solar generator so that I can add more charge capacity to it so it charges even faster. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions at all, please ask them down below. Or you can contact me directly at info at poweredportablesolar.com. And again, I'll have links below the video of all the components I use, the wiring, the connectors, the tools, the solder, everything like that. That way, if this is something that you need to do, you know exactly what to get. Now, please keep in mind, I am not a professional solderer by any means. I am a total amateur. So please don't make a bunch of rude comments about how bad of a job I did at soldering. I've been able to test each of these panels. They produce their full power. That's what I'm most interested in. All the gaskets and everything are well placed, so that way I know the water is going to be getting in them. These are going to be permanently installed outside, which is why I like these MC4 connectors, because they're UV resistant. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so you get more great videos like this. And of course, if there's anyone that you know that would find this video helpful, please share it with them. Thank you for staying to the end of this video, and we'll catch you guys next time.